Hello subscribers, this is Zara Aziz and today I'll be teaching you how to place your logo on multiple images and for this I'll be using Photoshop CC 2015 so no matter which version of Photoshop you use it will work anyhow so let's start and I'll open one of my pictures in Photoshop and then I'll place my logo here I'll scale it down and I'll place it in the bottom left. Oh. Uh, I'll open my picture in Photoshop and then I'll unlock my layer first and then I'll I'll click this play button. If it's not showing in your panel, go to window and then click actions. So I'll click this button and, and then I'll click this new action and then I'll name it logo and I'll record this so now Photoshop will be recording every action I make every step I do so now I'll go to file place embedded and I'll place my logo here where is my logo where is my logo yes I'll place my logo yes so now here is my logo, I will scale it down by pressing Alt and Shift and then dragging it like this and then I will place it on the bottom left. And now I will just stop the action and then I will go to File, Scripts, Image Processor. So there are three, four options here, the first option is saying the folder in which the folder which contains the pictures you want to watermark so this folder I have this folder and it has one two three it has five images so I am giving it the location of my pictures which I want to watermark and this is the folder in which I want to save the watermark pictures so I am saving in, in the same location and then the quality is highest it's 12 and save as JPEG you can resize it if you want so I am saving it as it is and then I am running the action which I just created so I will create default action here and then I will click my action logo here and then I will run this action or script so it's done it it's done watermarking my five pictures let's see what happened so initially I watermarked this picture that's fine it's the logo is in place let's see the picture which are in landscape mode so this is my logo here as you can see it's not aligned at all and it's below the picture and it's not also aligned at all so doing it this way is wrong doing it this way is wrong so I'll teach you how to how to place your logo at that it fits in every picture no matter what are its dimensions it will fit in every picture so so now I'll just delete what I had created and now I'll again open my picture in Photoshop I'll delete the action I already created alright so now you have to follow the, all the steps carefully if you miss one of the step your action will not work so now I have opened my picture in Photoshop first of all I will unlock this layer no I will not unlock this layer first first of all I will I will place my logo I will place my logo no first of all I will yes yes first of all I will all right first of all i'll make an action i'll name it logo again and it's in my default actions and now i'll just so since now it's recording i'll unlock this layer so that's step number one i'll unlock this layer now i'll go to file place embedded and now i'll be placing my logo i'll scale it down all right so now 
I will select this, I will press control on a window and command on a Mac and then I will click this layer while pressing control and now I will click this layer and then I will select this move tool and then I will place it on the bottom and left. So it is aligned on the bottom left but I do not want it to be the ex at the extreme bottom left I want some space on the left and I want some space on the from the bottom. So I cannot do it do it like this it will be like this if I will do it like this so let us see how to introduce some space from the left and from the bottom. So I will just delete this layer and I will just stop my action it will not work like this I will delete this action. The purpose of creating the wrong thing was to make you understand how why am I doing this if I did not created this you will not under you will not you would not have actually understood that why am I doing this actually. So we have made two attempts so far and we were not succeeded. So let us try something different. So now I will create a new window. Alright, I'll I'll place my logo here. I'll go to place and bet it. And now I'll place my logo here. All right. So since both are in white color, I cannot see my logo, so I'll just make it black. And so now I'll just scale it down. And also I'll decrease the size of the canvas by cropping it. All right. By cropping a little bit more. All right. So now I have this so now what I'll be doing, I'll be introducing some space from the left and from the bottom. So to do this, I'll by I'll click this rectangular marquee tool and I'll make a rectangle here, very thin one, and I'll fill it with the black color from the left and from the bottom. And I'll fill it with the black color, and I'll decrease its opacity to one percent. And now I will just save this in the PNG format and write here with the name of logo 1. Alright. So now when I place this logo here, and now I will, when I will align this logo. Uh, at the bottom left right from at the left and at the bottom so as you can see i have introdu introduced some space from the left and from the bottom if you want some more space you can make bigger rectangles if you want less space you can make small rectangles it all depends on you so i have made introduce some space from the left and from the bottom so let's make an action so i'll delete this and now and I also, I will also close this. So I will again open this in Photoshop. So now follow each and every step. If you miss even a single step, your action will not work. So now I have opened this and now I will open my picture here. Its name is background and it is locked. First of all, I will just click here. I will make a new action with the name of a logo. All right. And now I'll first of all I'll unlock this layer and then I'll go to file place embedded and then I'll choose the logo I made with the rectangles. I'll place it here and all right. And now I'll control plus click this layer and then I'll I'll align this at the bottom left. And then, then I'll deselect by pressing Control D or right click layer. And I don't know where is deselect. I actually use the shortcut. It must be here. Layer duplicate deselect deselect. Oh, alright, it's here. Select and deselect. Alright. So we are done with our action and just stop the action. Alright. So we are done. Now I'll go to File, Image Process Scripts, Image Processor, 
and I'll choose the folder in which uh, I have the pictures I want to watermark and this is the target folder in the where I want to place the watermarked images this is the quality and this is the action you want to perform this it it's in the default action and its name is logo and I'll run this so there are five pictures actually yes there are five pictures so now I had placed the logo on the portrait picture so let's see what have we done so this is the picture in the landscape mode but see it's aligned accurately and this is in the portrait mode our logo is fine this is in the portrait mode our logo is fine so and this is in the landscape mode it's in the bottom left so this is this is the way how you place the logo on 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 all your pictures at once no matter what are the dimensions i hope you understand if there are any questions you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much and bye bye